Welcome back to this new Pits of Rage tutorial. This one is a quick one. We will use a skyscraper from Cargo. We will add an image from Unsplash. And finally, we will add some fog. Let's jump right in. Here we are on a fresh planet scene. And today we want to use Cargo again. We have to go to Models. And let's change here now the axis to 3. And let's search here now for our skyscraper, which is right here. That is the apartment high rise. Um, yeah, first you have to click on download and after that you can press import. So let's do this. Yeah, now we can see this building is in our scene. Let's push this to the side. So let's go here in to the menu to M and bring this to minus 18.6. And now we want to duplicate this. Uh, let's select both of them here and press shift and D and then escape. And uh, now let's select here the empty again. And we want to bring this to 18.6 and rotate this in the Z value to 90 degrees. Okay, that's literally our scene here today. Let's uh, delete uh, the cube and the light. And now we can change here the camera. Uh, let's go here now with 0 by minus 5.5 by 1.5. I want to rotate this here to 149 by 0 by 0. And we want to use here uh, today the uh, panoramic. But this view is only available in the cycles render view. So let's make a second window. Let's press N and Z rendered change this year to cycles of course and gpu compute and now we can go back into the camera settings and change the lens to 15 and i want to bring in here the viewport display pass two to one let's bring in here some light in the buildings so let's select this one please select here uh, this mesh and not the empty there are no materials on it so let's select this one we have to go to material properties, search now for the glass tinted. Let's change here now to shader editor. And yeah, you have to select this glass tinted. Now let's bring the principal BSDF a little bit to the side. When we are changing here the emission color up to something, we can see that the windows are lighting up. And to get a little bit more randomness, we need a brick texture and bring this one here into the emission but yeah the mapping is not really cool and to change this we have to go now or we have to use here the node wrangler plugin and bring in a texture setup we don't have this enabled go to preferences search for wrangler and enable this one and now we want to change the texture coordinate from generated to uv and we can see this is looking better here now now let's adjust here the brick texture. Now let's go here with the offset of one. Everything else is okay. Let's change color two to black. Now let's increase the scale to 6.2 and the motor size to zero and the motor smoothness to zero as well. Bias is some kind of randomness. So let's bring this to 0.7 and I want to bring the brick width to 20.5 and the row height to 4.5. 0.85. That fits a little bit more here into the windows now and we can go ahead with some colors and to do this we need a color ramp. Put this here into the first color and yeah to randomize here some colors we need another node which is the geometry node and bring the random per island to uh, the factor. Now when we're changing from linear to constant here in the color ramp. We can play here with the colors. I want to use some light blue here. The next color for me is uh, orange red. Red orange, <laughs> something like this. And yeah, we can play here with the slider. For me, that's okay. I want to increase here now the emission strength to 20. Yeah, now let's go back here into the camera view to zero. That is looking good. 
We have to change here the environment color to black as well. So let's do this really quick. And now we can bring in the last other thing, which is an image. So let's go with Shift A and image, image as planes. If you don't have this in the menu, just go to preferences and search for image as planes. Now let's go to image, image as plane. Let's select here now the image and we want to have this as an emission and we don't use an alpha. And now let's press import image as planes. Yeah, it's really small. So let's change here now the dimensions to 180 by 270. Let's bring this to 50 in the Y and 55 in the Z. Let's rotate this now to 186 by 180. That's okay. Now we can see that the clowns are cut off. To change this, we have to go back into the camera and change the clip end to 500. That's looking better. But the next problem is the moon and the clouds is a little bit big. And when we're selecting the plane and change here the scale a bit, so it will fit here in the, in the scene. And we can see that here the plane is cut off. To fix this, uh, we can go now into the UV editing. Let's change here now on the camera view and change this to rendered. Okay, and let's zoom outside of this one here. We have to enable these uh, two arrows here. And the plane is already selected. If the plane is not selected here, uh, you have to go uh, into the edit mode by pressing tab and press A to select everything. Now we can see that we are, have selected here the plane in the 3D view and here on the uh, texture view on the side. And now we have to press S to scale this one up. And we can see that the moon is getting smaller, maybe to something like this. Let's press tab again to leave. We can see that we are having these edges here again, but to fix this, that's really easy and uh, let's go back here to our layout mode and now we can go into the material of our plane which is here and now let's change this one from clip to mirror and now uh, <laughs> everything is fine okay let's go here uh, into the emission strength i want to bring this to 20 as well that's really bright to have a little bit more contrast we need a curve so let's go to curve rgb curves bring this in between and we want to turn this here into an s curve maybe to something like this one here and now we need another cube for some fog Let's change the dimensions to 150 in the X, Y, and Z. We need a new material. Let's delete the principle by pressing X. Let's search for a volumetric scatter. Bring this into the volume. I want to bring this now to a little grayish color here, something like this. And let's change the density to 0.15 and the anisotropy to 0.75. Okay, and the last thing is you can go here into the color management and change here the look to something like high or medium contrast, which you like. I think the very high contrast is cool, but it's really dark, So, but it's up to you. Uh, I want to go here with a medium high contrast. Yeah, and to render this one out, uh, I uh, like to use here the maximum samples, the maximum samples of 256 uh, without denoise. Um, but I like to change here the light path in the diffusion to one by one by one because we don't need any stuff of this here. And I changed here the caustics off. And in the lights here, I changed here the light tree off because I think for me, it's a little bit faster. But uh, yeah, you can find this out by yourself if this is faster for you with a light tree or without. That was this tutorial. And if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.